lots of time to uh, recap this one and look ahead to the next game. But right now, joining us live from Iverwind Stadium is uh, the leading rusher for the Hamilton Tiger Cats today with 102 yards along the ground. And for you viewers out there who want an entertaining follow on Twitter, check this guy out, okay? Avon Colburn, uh, there he is with a big smile. This one must feel great. A uh, big statement again against your old team. Avon, tell us about it. Yeah, that was, this is a big game, you know, and, uh, you know, it, it was about, it was about more, you know, I see, I seen that uh, Winnipeg loss, so it was, it was our time, it was our time to uh, come up and show up, and, and we did in this game. Avon, it's uh, Jock Climby here. Uh, listen, you know more than just about anybody just how tough the Montreal Alouettes can be and have been. What did you see today that allowed you to take advantage of them, particularly on the ground? Well, I mean, it wasn't really me. It was my old line. It was pushing them around. And I mean, that's tough to say, you know, playing with them boys for so long. I, I haven't seen it happen much, but my old line was pushing them around the whole game and just creating scenes for me. And then, you know, it's just, you know, God giving the ability to just take, take control after that. Avon, Matt Dunnigan here. Got a question for you. You've been on the last two Great Cup championship football teams. You've been associated with this football team for nine games now. Does this team have what it takes to be great cup champions you know what it, it does but you know like the mistakes that we made today i fumbled you know mo fumbled and and the pick at the end i mean we can't do that i mean we have that we have the grit we have the toughness we have the the the, the players to do it but we just gotta we gotta be more focused and you know we, we just gotta we gotta we gotta tune in you know what i mean on every play and and that's that's what i think you know when i was in montreal we did we tuned in every play but i mean on the other on the other side all you really need is a great defense, and our defense is becoming that. And, you know, defense wins championships, and, and our defense, they showed up against the, the best quarterback in the world right now. Hey, Avon, Chris Schultz here. Talk a little bit about your role in the locker room, because one of the reasons you were brought to the Hamlin Ticats is the influence you have on other players. Is that something you try to do on purpose, or is that just part of your natural personality? So, so that's me, man. It's just me, you know, and, and you know, it's just, it's just how I, you know, ever since high school, that's just how I've been. I've been, I've been a, a vocal guy, but you know, you, you really can't do much if you're not making plays. And I've been making a plays, and, and you know, when you do that, uh, it was just funny because a player, a young player, was like, you know, I understand, I know the game, but I just like learning other things from you. I mean, and I, and I think I got that, you know, got that that sense of you know leadership just because of the plays I'm making, and definitely with the accolades I come with too, but. You know, I, that's that's why they brought me here to, you know, to lead by example and, you know, even in practice and, and that's really where it starts in practice to get the guys to run to the ball and, and doing things like that. And, and I mean, it's been working. It's been working. It definitely worked today. Uh, Avon, it's Dave Randolph one more time. I got one other question for you. You need veterans like yourself and leadership from your leaders like Kevin Glenn, but you also need uh, guys to step up out of nowhere. And you've got Chris Williams with another big yes, performance sir. today. Tell us about the speed of this guy and this. Uh, he's becoming a game breaker. He's definitely, he's definitely that. He's definitely a game breaker, and I'm, I'm glad he's on our team. I mean, it's a young guy coming out of nowhere, and you know, he, he's been making, he's been making plays. You know, just the, the tip ball down in the end zone. He, he's been making the plays that, that get us down there. I mean, and he's, he's really been our spark. You know what I mean? He's been our spark on the field. He'll make a play, and then everybody feeds off of it. I'm glad we got him, but we can, we got another young guy. Well, two more, two other young guys that, that's making plays for us. But right now, he's the guy, and, and I mean, he, he, he I, I know he learned the lesson from last week. And, you know, we can't have any more of those mistakes, but he's definitely been making a lot of plays for us. Hey, Vaughn, enjoy this one, and I'm going to look forward to your tweets later today, okay? <laughs> uh, appreciate you. All right, there is Avon <laughs> Colburn, right. who, interestingly enough, you know, he, he's, he's a talker. He likes oh, yeah. to talk, yeah, but I loved his attitude after this game. He says, yeah, they, they just smoked the two-time defending Grey Cup champs for the second time this season. And he said, you know, we still made some mistakes. I fumbled the ball. I like that talk, Schultz. You know,